Okay, so let's, uh, looking at the same density and Kelvin conversion problems worksheet, if we go down to number three, it says calculate the mass of one cubic centimeter of oxygen. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we're going to just fill in our table here. Density, we are not sure what the density is, are we? So I was looking at our periodic chart in the book, and it didn't have densities in it. So I have that for a handout for you. And if you look on our Moodle course here, I also have that in a number of spots. Um, but here it is right here, the periodic table. Okay, so you're going to have to use this for the first semester. Um, and this periodic table here then is colored, but the one that you're going to have is not going to have the color to it. And you can either get to it from this front page, but uh, inside the metric system folder here, it opens up in a different page. So we got 7.5 here, periodic table, right in the middle. Um, and I'll show you how to look at this here. Like I said, this one will be in color, but yours will not be in color. Okay, I'm going to have to flip it around here. So, okay. And I'm going to zoom it in here. Because what we're going to want to look at here is in the bottom left-hand corner, corner of your periodic chart. It's this piece right down here. Okay. So if you look uh, right down here, this is the key to what, the, or what all these numbers are. So you have all these boxes with all these um, different elements. And the one that we're looking at today is density. Okay. So notice the label for the density on this is grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, grams per cubic centimeter. Um, and then it shows that it's pointing to this number right here. So zinc has a density of 7.13 grams per cubic centimeter. You know, if I asked you about uh, the density for cesium, well, you look for the number, and here it is, 1.87 grams per cubic centimeter. Um, the density for um, uh, tungsten, well, that's 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. And that's the way you read your periodic table. Okay, so well, we're not looking for density of zinc or tungsten. What we're actually looking for today is oxygen. So we take and find oxygen on our chart. Um, and you'll become very familiar with this chart, so you better start looking at it over now. Oh, there it is. We've got oxygen right here. And the density for oxygen is 1.429 grams per cubic centimeter. 1.429. So you're going to have to go back over to our, our uh, work and put that in. 1.429 grams per cubic centimeter. Okay? So that's the one unknown that you didn't have. And it says uh, calculate the mass of, of uh, one cubic centimeter of oxygen. So one cubic centimeter would be the volume, but I'm not going to do that problem for you. So let's just say 20 cubic centimeters of oxygen, and it wants to know the mass. <coughs> okay, so we're looking for mass. So what you do then, we use your formula again, just like that, and we... Cancel out our mass, and we see the orientation is density times volume. So in this case, mass is equal to 1.429 grams per cubic centimeter times 20 cubic centimeters. Okay, so our mass in this case then is, take up our calculator here, and we have 1.429 times 20 equals 28.58. So we have 28.58 grams of oxygen. Okay, so that's how you do that. Okay, we'll do another practice here. It says calculate the uh, number four on the worksheet says calculate the volume of pure gold that has a mass of 2.98 grams. So I'm going to put in, of course, a different mass here. Let's just say it's seven grams. Okay, so we have to figure out the density of gold. So we go back to our chart and 
gold is AU, okay? So you can, you know, you're gonna have to look around on this chart that's part of the, the uh, what you need to do is come familiar with it. Here's gold right here. You can see it's a gold. And it says that the density of gold is 19.3. Okay, so we'll go back to our, our uh, assignment here. And we'll put in our density. Gold has 19.3 grams for every cubic centimeter. Keeping in mind a cubic centimeter is a little bit smaller than a dice or one die. Um, and we're trying to figure out the volume here. Okay, so we're looking for volume, like we said, volume equals, so we can't go over our magic triangle, cover up volume, and we see we have mass over density. In this case, we have 7 grams over 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter cube. And you pull up your calculator, and 7 divided by 19.3 then is equal to 0.3627, okay? So 0.3627 um, grams per gram cubic centimeters. My label is kind of missing there, sorry about that. But there is the way that you find your volume, like in number four on the worksheet. And if you look at number two on the worksheet, you notice that it says 23.7 liters of iron. Okay, so one thing that you have to remember from the notes. Well, first of all, well, there's two things you have to do with this one. But the first thing you have to know and you have to memorize for the test is one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeters. Okay, so you're going to have to know that for the test. So in, in this case, it says liters, but all of our density is in cubic centimeters. Well, we can't uh, do our calculations with liters, but if we, if we convert our liters to milliliters with the factor conversion method like you learned in the last video, then whatever your number is for milliliters will be equal to your number for cubic centimeters. Okay, so that's kind of a difference that you have to work with for that one.